hate waiting for my Seahawks to play, man. Ah, it's driving me nuts. I'm so impatient. I swear I couldn't wait if the asteroid was coming at us. I'd just be like, come on and hit us already and kill us, man. On to the next thing. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. And uh, today we are going to get into another comedian that I have not gotten into before uh, since we've had this uh, channel going on here. And um, yeah, we're going to see what this guy's talking about today. We're going to get into some Henry Coleman today. Henry Coleman. All right. Sounds like a... Sounds like a real old school name, kind of, you know? I mean, how many people do you really know nowadays named Henry? Not too many. There's some, I imagine, but still, that's like a old school wholesome type name, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, we're going to see what Henry Coleman is talking about with this one today. And this one is going to be titled, oh, okay, Married Women Cheat Too. Well, that is true. I mean, geez, I mean, no, um, no way to tell, you know, who's more or less, maybe it's about deadlocked even, who knows, but yeah, I imagine there's a lot of women, uh, married women out there that cheat too, um, I'm imagining the reasons are different, but you know, that's something that you tend to find out as you grow older as a man, but uh, yeah, I know what, uh, I don't know what he's going to be talking about with this one, but we're going to find out, so let's go ahead and just get into it, like I said, so Henry Coleman with Married Women Cheat Too. And if you like this reaction, please click on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy, if you don't mind. Uh, constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or request, and uh, throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, all right? Please, no drama. Not in my life. Please, no. <laughs> yeah, we already, I already got enough drama coming up this Saturday with my Seahawks playing the 49ers. Oh, in California, man. Oh, my goodness. Ah, okay, shake it off, man. Shake it off, man. We got business to handle here. So, uh, yeah, another newbie to add to the channel and uh, Henry Coleman. And, uh, yeah, I'm just ready to see what he got to say about this subject matter. So, let's go ahead and do it. Henry Coleman with Married Women Cheat 2 right here on Eddie B TV. Another newbie to add to the playlist. Let's check our boy out here. See if he's funny. The subject matter is already funny enough just to even think about it from a different perspective, but yeah, I still think he might be funny. Let's get situated with this one here, and here we go. Uh, what a man women that get that pussy up makes noise. <laughs> She clapping loud. That's what I be fucking with. Married man women be out here cheating, boy. That pussy be good. Married women are response cheaters. They not proactive. Married women cheat when they being cheated on. I don't know why black men think they can have eight side holes and they wife just at home praying, hoping they stop. That's like, real. no, nigga, she sucking dick too. Y'all yeah. swingers. Oh, this one married lady had me so sprung, I got mad when she spent time with her husband. I was like, fuck you mean y'all went to church? I thought you said y'all was separated, bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Married women crazy. Married women will fuck the statue in the hotel room, leave that room, and then post a tribute to their husband on their Facebook page. <laughs> Right outside the room. It. Shout out to my king. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through the tough times. This know. man practically raised me. <laughs> she could. Okay, y'all were not expect <laughs> Married women crazy. They were, married when I was trying to convince you that they not fucking their husband, which is weird. First thing, Charles ain't touched me in years. <laughs> I could walk around the house butt naked. Leroy wouldn't put his hands on me. <laughs> Bitch, I don't care if you fuck your husband. I'm still gonna fuck. <laughs> I'm not a good guy. <laughs> That's real. Fellas. <laughs> well, I ain't never turned down no pussy because the bitch was fucking a hood. <laughs> oh, you fucking Charles? I can't tell. I got standards. 
<laughs> it don't matter to me. Exactly. Are you prepared to fuck today? That's my only question. Did you come today prepared to fuck? What are you saying? You cheating on your husband, but you're faithful to me? Don't make no sense. <laughs> you told God you love that man. I know you don't give a fuck about me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, man, that was a short one right there. Well, yeah, he highlighted some uh, pretty interesting uh, points there. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie about it. Yeah, I'm gonna have something to say about this one, but yeah, very funny, baby. <laughs> the little little side joke that he was throwing in with this subject, man, just kind of made it hilarious, right? They, even though it's a pretty sore issue, right? You know, to some people, that is. All right, y'all, that was uh, Henry Coleman with Married Women Cheat 2. Well, I, uh, <laughs> fellas, yeah, I think you might, um, I think you should know that. You know, even if you young and stupid watching this channel right here and you don't know what the deal is, oh, yeah, if you think you're getting your hustle on out there, nah, she getting hers on too. Believe that one. If you decide to even stick with each other. That's one of the toxic things about relationships to me is that, um, a couple will stay together knowing something's going on with the other one, but they'll stay together, but yet it's just like this weird thing where there's a lot of ignorance involved, but there's a lot of, a lot of knowledge going on at the same time, and then you have both y'all doing stuff, but you still together. It's like, why don't y'all just come together, man, and just decide something together, man? That would at least make it more fun, maybe less tense. I don't know. I mean, it's bad enough that men just all over the place can't confront this issue. I'm going to confront it straight up. And uh, I think I probably said it before, but I'll say it again. A man can love a woman. A man can uh, want to be with a woman and just like, you know, not want to be with anyone, love anyone else or be living in the same house, but this one woman. But no matter what, he's always going to want to fuck other women. Always. It's never going to not want you know what I mean? Like, it's, he's never going to not want to. It's always going on up here and thinking about it. Hardcore always happens up here, too. It's just a question of whether or not you choose to, like, you know, go that extra mile. You know, a few times in my life, I went that extra mile and I paid for it a little bit. You know, it is what it is. But, yeah, fellas, if you're going to uh, continue doing your thing, you, you better believe she's going to get hers. If she even, you know is drama filled like that to stay uh dr drama filled enough like that to stay with you but um yeah man it's just like my my issues the few times that i had uh did that stepped outside of my relationship the relationship didn't even last that much longer to even you know get to the point of deciding that in the first place but um it's just you know females you know the ladies the women will do things for different reasons. I've done things for reasons like that myself, if I'm being honest, man. I stayed with women before in the past because I was just like not wanting it to end, but they didn't know that I knew, you know what I mean? But I was getting even with them while they was doing stuff. But it was a, it was a shit show, man. A lot of uh, drama was going on. And uh, for many people out there, a lot of doctor's visits too. <laughs> That's just real, man. Let's just be real now. But, um, yeah, man, it's it's like uh, women out there really do like to make you believe that things that they don't have the ability to be mischievous, even though the evidence is always right there in front of you. It's just like you see this one woman over here and just like, no, nah, not her. Them other bitches, but not her. No, her too. <laughs> you just don't know. <clears throat> Women say they're better about hiding things. No, we're just better at not giving a shit like that, you know, when dudes are out doing their thing, you know. But as far as, like, hooking up with another um, dude's woman, I mean, I think I might have said this before in the past, but I don't step to nobody else's woman. It's, it's just not my thing, personally. You know, like, but um, the circumstance of me actually going through with that are very simple. Like, if I have no intentions of getting with your lady, even though I know that I think she's fine and all that, I don't make no moves. I don't even, like, try to silently flirt with her or nothing like that. But if you start giving me the evil eye, start making me, you know, you know, have some beef with you, then I'm like, okay, well, I, I tried to give a damn about your relationship, but you seem to want to just start shit with me. So now if your girl gives me the uh, the nod, <laughs> I'm going to have to jump on that now. That's just my circumstances. Treat me with respect. I treat you with respect. It's all good. 
But um, yeah, man, like uh, just as quick as like uh, some uh, women will say like, how can you just sleep with that girl and then come back home to me? I'm just like, girl, you act like, what he, he, oh my God. Well, he said that she was doing like, yeah, sleep with him, like give you the good in the motel room and post a tribute <laughs> to your man. <laughs> that is like, ooh. That is beyond sinister. I mean, like, even I, you know, even most dudes don't have the um, the hardcore in them to go that far. They just try to make a quick lie, whatever gets them through the night. And that's just what it is there. But I'll just say this much, man. Ladies, I mean, if you don't know by now that men just want to have a variety of sex, you know, in different ways with different females. Okay, fine. You know, just leave him if you feel like he's going to do something. Yeah, I don't say, I'm not going to say stay with somebody that's cheating on you. But at the same time, man, I really wish that, and just selfishly, just on the surface, because I know that's what a lot of women will think this means anyway, but I just really wish that I could have the things that I want with my woman getting it. Like, I wish that my woman would actually get some stuff for me. So, you know, like, ladies, if you really know your dude like that and you think some stuff's going on and all that good stuff, man, Find a woman that can do some stuff that you can't do. Have a little fun together. I mean, just throwing it out there. You're probably going to be like, oh, man, typical men in their talk of all this extra stuff. Nope, it ain't going to happen. Fine, I don't care. I'm just saying, man, a lot of cheating goes on between men and women. It would just be a lot more productive if, you know, if people were just honest with one another. Not like on some corny shit, like I'm just saying, be honest now. I'm just saying, like, be honest enough with yourself to know that some stuff might go down after a certain amount of time or if that person's a piece of shit or whatever. Just, like, understand things can happen. Don't think that you're, like, the exception to the rule because I made that mistake a few times. And when females decided to do some things behind my back, you know what I mean? I'm, you know... They made, they made that mistake sometimes, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, very funny clip from Henry Coleman, man. I like when people talk <clears throat> about issues like this and make fun of them because it brings uncomfortable truths to light. But the way he throws them punchlines in there, it just makes it hilarious and it does make you think, you know. And that's why I like comedians that really tackle uncomfortable issues because that's what I do all the time and people can't stand me for it. Like, I will talk about the most heinous thing in front of anyone just trying to break the ice and make somebody confront something because... Not only do I think it's the right thing, but I think it just amuses me, you know, because I'd like to, I, I like to push boundaries like that. I've always been like that. But uh, yeah, very funny clip from Henry Coleman, man. Um, if there's another one from him that you guys like, man, school me, put me in, um, put me on game, give me some links in the in the comments, and uh, hopefully we can get to another one from this guy because I like his energy, I like his style up there. He's hella funny, and um, the scenarios that he paints, you know, and like expresses on stage, man, is just funny as hell. And uh, yeah, definitely got to get to another one of him. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right there one more time. Uh, Henry Coleman with Married Women Cheat 2. <laughs> and if you like that reaction, please put him on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel. Bring that bell. And of course, as always, leave a nice comment for your boy. Uh, constructive critiques. Leave a nice suggestion or request. And I'll throw a couple jabs, jokes, and zingers at me. Friendly dialogue. No drama here. All right? Yeah. Yeah, I was hitting the speed bag just now, man. Yeah, I just threw that in there. I'm kind of twisted. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be Eddie BTV wrapping this one up one more again here. Uh, another newbie added to the list in Henry Coleman, man, and he was a funny-ass dude. And the subject matter, while uncomfortable, was funny as hell, too. People, just use your brains out there, man. You guys know who you are, and believe it or not, in many ways... You know the people that you're with, too. You know who they are. So just be real with yourself. Be real with them. And maybe you might actually get some cool stuff happening instead of a lot of twisted-ass drama. But that's just one idiot, you know, one idiot's advice from doing some nonsense in the past and had a lot of nonsense done on him, man. I'm like, ugh, I'm going to punch him back for this nonsense. It ain't even funny. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in uh, one more time to this one, man. And um, thank you all for tuning in one more time. And until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.